go. Yep. Take a read, folks. Got rocks. Big rock garden here, that's for sure. This will give you some perspective of how steep this wall is. On my bucket list was Colorado to hit some Badge of Honor trails. Most importantly, the Holy Cross Trail. I've only seen these in videos and I wanted to try this in my overland way. So I headed there, headed to Goose Gear to have a chat with Brian, and of course check out the beautiful scenery that these trails had to offer. driving and I thought, you know what, I don't want to go up at 8 o'clock at night, I'm just going to hit the Outback and then the grocery store and then the couch is in because I need to get some food in me, so, see ya. stopped here on the side check out some views here it's pretty nice a lot of mountains it's very hot in the morning it's maybe I don't know 25 degrees Celsius so maybe 80 plus yesterday was 91 degrees Fahrenheit uh, so 32 degrees I figured that out but uh, I'm gonna head over to Goose Gear right now and check out these this uh, new facility they have because they used to be in California and they moved to Colorado As many of you already know, we do a lot of cooking at camp, and the key of great cooking is great organization, with the right gear, of course. I had a good sit down with Brian from Goose Gear talking about business and ideas, which I am always excited about. Their product, quality control, and production is very organized, just like their gear. If you're looking for some quality gear, hit up these guys no matter what vehicle you have, I'm sure they can help you out. I'm with Monica. She is showing me around Colorado while my other buddy is delayed getting here. So, 
Thanks for that, Mark. I appreciate it. Got you. I got you. Yeah, so we're going to go out and do some more exploring. It's freaking hot here. But I left all the rainy country of Canada, and now it's beautiful Colorado. What is this place? I found the outhouse for the Airbnb that you booked. <laughs> I'm so glad that we got the expensive one. <laughs> Can't thank you enough. This is your toilet paper, though. <laughs> I really want to thank Monica again and her husband for their hospitality and showing me their backyard. Yes, this is not far from where they live and what a view it is. The landscape is incredible and breathtaking. Colorado has so much to offer and the great people, well, that's just a bonus. On the menu, pasta, chicken, parmesan, yum.
So I'm actually at the trailhead finally meeting up with Anthony after how many days, Anthony? Two? Two, days. Two delayed days. But luckily, because there was a major storm, hurricane in Florida, he was going to go by that. So thankfully, he didn't go that way. He was delayed. So we're uh, going to hit the trails right now. But look at the view where we're headed. Insane. Anything can happen at the trail. One thing I've learned about wheeling over the years is let the tires do the work as you don't always need to use a skinny pedal. It's called rock crawling, not racing, remember? something almost surreal. The epic views, the surrounding mountain peaks, overseeing the land that's been here for generations. And for us to be able to experience this by driving up to almost 13,000 elevation was simply mind blowing. Of course, going down on shelf roads was another story while being off camera, which is definitely not my favorite. This was a moment in which I had to give the mountain full attention. So of course I didn't film that part. Take a good look around and you can see the path in which we took. I believe this should also be a badge of honor trail.
up the trail, the red cone. What an awesome, awesome trail. But of course, we're going to have some food. Simple tonight, pizza. Small little oven, inexpensive oven. Slap some pizza in there and we're on the road again. Okay, we stop to let our brakes cool a little bit because it's a lot of downhill. 11,000 feet all the way downhill. Well, it's morning time to hit the road. On the road again. Look at the mountains ahead, folks. We are headed to some epic wheeling today. Cannot wait. Trailhead with Anthony. He's unloading his Jeep right now and we're heading to the base of the trail in a little bit here. Pretty exciting. It's going to be a, an exciting day. Wait till you see the trail that we're going to hit. You probably already know by the title of the YouTube video, but I'm excited. We have made it. Now, that away. Here you go. This is the Holy Cross Trail. It's a pretty intense trail with lots of wheeling, off camber, and sketchy stuff. And I'm going to do it with my overland rig. But of course, Anthony is going to oversee the spotting, so hopefully nothing bad happens. So, dude, what do you think? It's good, man. I love this trail. This is a pretty badass trail. Yeah. A few sketchy spots, but I can't thank you enough for bringing me out here. It's pretty sweet.
Ooh, tippy tippy. He's gonna try without lockers. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Although this trail didn't have all of the views that the other ones had, it did have lots of wheeling, and that's what I came for. A little bit of everything. Got rocks. Big rock garden here, that's for sure. There you go, perfect. The passenger is going to drop. Almost there.
This here is the ghost wall. There is a bypass for the people that don't want to challenge themselves a little bit more, and that's okay. This looks a lot steeper in person, as does all videos. My suggestion is just know your rig. And I did wish I took more video footage of everything because after this wall, there's even more intense wheeling. This is definitely not for the vein of heart. This will give you some perspective of how steep this wall is. Okay, okay, stop. I know exactly what you're thinking. Don't put your arms out the window. And you're probably right in most cases. But this, he saved his rig. It was 100% going to hit. And with just a little tap. But you're right, you shouldn't be doing that. You got it. It's gonna drop in the back a little bit. Here you go, coming up. <laughs> Woo! Holy shit! <laughs> nice and slow on the back. Here you go. How did that one feel? <laughs> my legs were shaking, both of them, my arms. <laughs> that was a close one. Yeah, it's all good, we got it though. Since I wanted to complete all of the other trails, I didn't film everything and I also broke my arm off my drone. It does happen, it's not the first time, and it certainly won't be the last. But thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.